Welcome to our <clears throat> Unboxing Tuesday as usual. My name is Mark Bufa and today we are going to be talking with the experts at 900 Global. <music> guys, I introduced myself. I'll let you guys do the intro of yourselves. Who's on, who's on the line with us? We've got Matt Kavansky, 900 Global Marketing Manager and Product Development Analyst. Nick Cyphers, Director of Operations and Senior Design Engineer. Great. And your cameraman? West Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. You guys beat me to the punch. You already have the balls unboxed. Uh, but uh, regardless, we'll start with that. So let's switch it over to the top view and let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about the re-release of the Respect. So as we see here on the box, we have the 79 Alert Hybrid cover stock and the Tetra Symmetric Core. This is basically a re-release and we'll talk a little bit about this in the next couple of seconds when we get back to the engineering guys. So let's see here in the box. And we got a beautiful white, black, and blue hybrid cover stock. We've got the white as pearl and the other two are solid. So really great looking piece. Uh, this is something that the pros were uh, asking for. Uh, we saw Daria actually make one of the shows using an original respect and uh, now you guys are re-releasing it. So uh, guys, let's uh, cut back to the split view now and let's talk a little bit more about the nitty gritty about this. So what was the design intent on this? Uh, probably Barnes and Daria were asking for this quite a bit. So kind of give us a little bit of an idea of what, uh, what people can expect out of this and what you guys were trying to get out of this. No problem, Mark. This was actually the ball that Chris Barnes shot 300 with uh, during the Japan Open uh, back in 2015. Uh, it's a very early revving ball, but it's also extremely strong down lane. So it was something that we wanted to replicate when we reintroduced it. And we were talking a little bit off screen about this being uh, produced not in Utah, but in San Antonio. So Nick, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, <clears throat> so, we, so just touching on the core design, uh, it is the, the low RG high flare core uh, that was used in the original respect. Uh, but the main point uh, is what you just said. This is produced in San Antonio. Uh, we analyzed this uh, quite a few different ways to make sure that we got the same, uh, if not better, uh, performance than the original. Uh, we looked at the uh, surface roughness RA values, compared it to the USB-C values uh, from the original respect in Utah to the San Antonio built ball. And then we also looked at Specto. We had the original ball and we took the uh, San Antonio built ball looked at the specto friction numbers, uh, angles, entry angles, uh, total boards hook, uh, and statistically they're all within the same value. So uh, we're, we're very confident that we have uh, the, the, the original respect performance. All right, so where does this fit in the line, guys, compared to some of the existing balls, some of the top sellers that we've seen? So let's say compared to an Eon or, or even Continuum, like where would this fit in the line? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, it's in the same line as the Eon and the Truth Tour. So actually, I would put it right between the two. The Eon being more for the when the lanes start to dry up a little bit. The Truth Tour is definitely what you want to start with since the surface is so rough. Respect kind of falls right in between them. That's kind of the ball you're going to go to when the Truth Tour gets to be too much. Next up, we have in addition to the popular Badger line with the Honey Badger Claw, right? So here we've got the same cover, S71, but however, in a solid version, also 2000 Aberlon, and it's the same asymmetrical core as we found in the Honey Badger. Um, nice purple and black combination. This one's got a little bit more black in it, but uh, just, you know, asymmetrical ball. So we got the mass bias indicated on it, S71, and the beautiful claw marks there. So. Um, let's switch back to the uh, split view here and let's talk Honey Badger. We have a special guest to talk about the Honey Badger. No, don't have him. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so uh, guys, let's talk about design intent on the uh, Honey Badger Claw. Uh, yes, anyway, uh, before we were interrupted, uh, the uh, Honey Badger Claw was... Uh, the obvious follow-up to the Honey Badger. We found great success with that ball with uh, actually Daria Payo. Uh, went in the Detroit Open last year with it. It got uh, great exposure on TV, and uh, it's a great skid flip ball. Uh, but uh, it just made sense to get that same sort of motion except on heavier oil. So expect to see a skid flip type reaction, but definitely something you would start with earlier in a block or in league. 
Okay. Also, uh, Nick, let's talk about the two-piece construction of this. What's What are some of the advantages of not having an outer wrapping on the core? A couple of advantages. First, uh, you know, obviously with the grapnel core uh, and, and the previous Honey Badger, it, it's been a huge success being high RG medium flare. Uh, but with the two-piece construction, you, you have two uh, one aesthetic and one actual performance. Uh, the aesthetics, uh, the color blending is a little unique in this style. Uh, when you when you utilize just a uh, just an inner core and you wrap the cover stock completely around it, so you'll find a unique blending of the purple and black. Uh, on the performance side of it, the uh, coefficient of restitution is a little higher on this ball than what it is on on our typical uh, round core constructions. So the uh, energy transfer through the pins is different on this uh, versus the the round core constructions. Also, uh, because of the fact that you're not using an outer wrapping, which is you know rather light. This obviously makes the RG a lot higher on these types of balls, correct? Yeah, it, it does. On, on the core, on, on whether it's this core shape in, in a two-piece construction or a different core shape, uh, this limits what you can do with the RGs. But again, it provides different COR uh, type of, of, of construction and it provides a different aesthetic look. So uh, again, the, the, the core numbers, you have to make a 15-pound ball, you have to make a 16-pound ball. So you have to assign a, a correct amount of, of mass to the inner core. Uh, therefore, the RGs calculate out to what, what they calculate out to. So that's also one of the reasons why it's only available from 14 to 16 is because you need to have those numbers 100% correct on the density in your core, correct? Yeah, yeah. If, if we wanted to do a 13 and 12 pound, we actually would have to go to our standard uh, three or you know outer core construction because uh, you physically cannot make the ball in 13 and 12 pounds with just this particular inner core shape. So skid flip reaction out of a solid uh, ball, really great for... Uh, your heavy oil conditions, how would this compare to uh, some of the other balls in the line like uh, Dream On or uh, things of that nature? Uh, compared to a Dream On, it's going to be cleaner through the front since the RG is higher. The Dream On will want to start up a lot quicker. Uh, it, it actually makes a great three ball arsenal. You can start with the Honey Badger Claw. You've got the Badger, which is a symmetric hybrid version, will be for your initial transition. And then when the lanes really open up and you really have to move in deep and uh, try to open your angles up, the Gold Honey Badger is definitely the ball to use. All right, guys, so if you're catching us on YouTube, um, make sure to check out the Honey Badger Claw or the Respect in one of your local GPS shops. You could go over to 900global.com and uh, find a GPS shop in your area, no matter where you're at across the United States, Canada, Korea, Japan, wherever you could find that all on 900global.com. Make sure you check it out. Also, make sure to check out the 3G shoes, uh, really great shoes. We're going to be doing a, a little uh, webcast about that hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so again, guys, thank you for supporting the brands. NinerGlobal.com, shop.bufabowling.com, Mark Bufa here alongside Matt Kibansky, Nick Cyphers, and our little friend, the Badger. See ya. We'll see you guys in the next one.